We are the media now. Hi, Linda here. Thanks for joining me. Today is day six of Video a Day in May. And Lou reminded us that May is National Video Day that month. So I'm going to learn to edit too. So the prompt today is about being a networking pro. Share your best networking advice or tips. And this is ideally to go on LinkedIn. I used to have about 7,000 connections on LinkedIn and about 10 years worth of data and I lost all that. Not real sure why, whether it was my nuclear postings or whether it was some bad actors uh, with the insurance cartels or a combination of both. So now I have uh, almost 4,000 connections again. I still haven't reconnected with everybody. I think a lot of them have been censored away also. So what I, my tips are download often. On LinkedIn, I made a, a tiny URL. It's tinyurl.com slash download LinkedIn in case you forget how to do it. Once you do it a few times, it takes like two minutes to download your messages, your connections. And on your profile on LinkedIn, make sure that you have allowed your connections to download your email. Otherwise, we just end up with a list. It used to be default that LinkedIn would share email addresses, and then they changed it to you have to go in and manually do that. And, you know, who does that? The other thing is to download at least weekly all of your content. When we are censored off of any platform, it's like a virtual book burden. And if you're not responsible taking care that you maintain your data and your content, well, then who will be? You know, the, the kids today, I mean, they don't know anything about history. They're, you know, look, look at what's happening to the young people. Oh, my God. And look what's happening to the military. Oh, my God. So use social media. Don't be used by it. Be proactive. If you're not in the USA, you probably have a better idea of what I'm talking about. Some of my fellow Americans are still fast asleep. So let's link up in prayer at eight o'clock local time. Let's just kind of sweep the planet with some prayer and positive energy and good thoughts and, and good visions and, you know, these are challenging times. Stand up and be counted. Years ago, I worked with convicts in maximum security penitentiaries. I'll never forget. One of the guys said, hey, lady, it looks like you don't know anything about prisons or people in them. We hope to God you never do. But he also said, you know, if you're going to be involved in, in fighting corruption anywhere, you have to know what you're willing to die for because you might be asked to do so. I think my fellow Americans really understand what that means today. So anyway, we learn about chat GPT and other forms of artificial intelligence and all of that. A lot of people are doing free and inexpensive courses on it. There's a lot of extensions. Just start playing with it. I like to do fairy tales. I tell my horrible stories with the insurance carrier and, and some of their very, very wicked um, attorneys. And I just, you know, say, make it a fairy tale and give it a happy ending. That gives me some hope, too. Anyway, these are supposed to be short, sweet, and to the point. And I think this got too long, but hey, there you go. See you tomorrow.